We're gonna talk about the zombies. It's trash, garbage, okay? But, if you take that off the show... Mm-hmm. Yes. I thought that this was one of the better WWE pay-per-views in a long time. We are told the first non-WrestleMania event to have WrestleMania in its name. I assume this means later this year we will get WrestleMania King of the Ring and WrestleMania December <laughs> to this member. A very intelligent friend of mine, perhaps you can find out who this might be. Well, it's none of us, that's for sure. They texted me afterwards and they said, If Ray and Dominic were going to win the tag team titles as the first father and son team... Why did they win them on this show oh, when yes. the next pay-per-view is on Father's Day? And I, I said, my friend, oh, after right. watching this match, I yes. think it's abundantly clear why they won them here and will be defending them on Father's Day. A- and losing them, I'm sure. Thanks for <laughs> spelling it out, Craig. <laughs> it was dumb uh-huh. and everything like that. But You're right. This is the fucking dumbest motherfucking thing I have seen all fucking year in this company. And I've been watching Bray Wyatt and Alexa. I love this match with all my heart. I knew you would. It was Haas warfare, mean guys all over the place, just bodies flying through the air and clobbering each other, crashing each other, and just insanity. Seth Rollins returns in his stupid outfit, and he just beats the hell out of Cesaro, just kills him, leaves him for dead. When Seth was Tyler Black in Ring of Honor, he was part of a faction called the Age of the Fall. Yes. He teamed with Jimmy Jacobs, who wore a white suit. They cut up one of the Briscoes very badly and suspended him from the building, so the Briscoes' blood dripped all over this white suit. Seth had the same suit, only instead of blood, they used colorful paint. Who do you think should replace Alex Trebek on Jeopardy? Filthy Tom. You know... You know, I I watched Jeopardy for many, many years, and now that he's... I don't watch it anymore. It's kind of uh, sad. Granny, do you personally agree that Brian is on the genius level of intelligence? Of course I am. I don't think so. <laughs> Why? Not how, what evidence, not how I what evidence do you have, Granny, that I'm not a genius? Oh, I've got Besides lots. the first uh, ten minutes of this show. My phone's ringing. You, can't, you don't say. <laughs> Who's calling? I'll just let it ring. All right, we'll wait. Yeah. Probably my brother. It doesn't say on the screen who's calling. I haven't looked. <laughs> oh, and it's a mess tonight. It's oh, big, good, good, good. Big, big mess. Uh huh. I've got so much junk here. I don't know what I'm doing. I watched the zombie one. Oh my gosh. Zombies both get zombies. Zombies somehow came in and devoured Miz. It's how stupid. I gave that a minus five. Excellent, Granny. Excellent, excellent. When you grow out your hair, sideburns. You want me to grow, that's your request that I grow sideburns? Yeah. You'd look like a hunk of hunk of burning love. Be Elvis. That was not what I was expecting. Yeah, but it was more than I wanted. For a guy who was through hell, the show came off surprisingly pro-cocaine. I don't know if I'd say pro-cocaine, but I think I would say, you know, a man who has turned his life around and does not regret the decisions he made to get to this point. Hunter notes, nobody is, nobody he knows has ever overdosed and died on religion. Mm, I don't know if I'd say that, but... All right. If any uh, still where he's at, we may move you back in right around my birthday. What a What a birthday gift that would be. It's Vinny. Man, Vinny oh for man. your birthday. You know what I've always wanted for my birthday was a Vinny. More Vinny. What I am is I'm like Darth Vader here. You know you know when uh, in Empire Strikes Back when Darth Vader's in that really, big... Really, when you, when you say I'm like Darth Vader, I understand. You don't need any more details. Well, you know, they, he's got that thing comes down and puts the helmet on his head. Anyway, these ratings. We don't know anything. Like, we still don't have a chart from a week ago. Dynamite. 821,000 viewers, down 12% from last week. Lowest viewership since April 7. Next week, it's going to die as well because it's on Friday night. Anything that you read about how the sky is falling because of these numbers, it's just, it's not. Like, this is what was going to happen. With that said, this NXT number. This, however, is horrible. This is a horrible number and a horrible demo. And the sad thing is, the show was good. Tony finds a new and creative way to drop Zoe onto her head. And Pinner. I watched it over and over again. I have no fucking idea what she did. I mean, it looked like she killed her. I mean, it's a really cool move. Spa Day with Candace LeRae and Indy Hartwell. 
I don't think he could just go in and replace a uh, licensed masseuse. So it That's appears foul for, play occurred here. For sure a felony, yes. He is now rubbing a woman without her knowledge. Yes. He's supposed to be the baby face. I love Cameron Grimes. He is my hero. All of these segments are fun, but I must ask, is it going anywhere? Vinny, have patience, bro. Patience. Uh, Alexander Wolf got pinned in two minutes or less by Killian Dane. Uh, then his teammates turned on him and beat him up and left him laying, and the next day he was fired. In this promo, it felt like they were trying to be a low-rent Young Bucks knockoff and failing. This is a weird gimmick I don't quite get. How in the fuck in 140 fucking years of pro wrestling in this country has no one ever used the name Top Dollar? The fucking greatest. Hit Row is the best thing to happen to NXT in forever. I hope we eventually find out that Top Dollar's last name is Bill. God. I love this Bronson Reed. <laughs> this Bronson Reed, I, I never met the guy in my life. I never talked to him. But, like, I feel like we'd be best buds. Hmm. You ever know there are people like that that you just, like, feel like you'd be great friends with this person? That's how Never I feel drives. about this Bronson Reed. It wasn't, like, a match of the year, but Christian is such a smart, psychologically excellent professional wrestler. Everything he does looks good. I've said this before. I can't wait till they're done with wrestling and they have a t reality show where they tour the country going to different dive bars around the world. That, that's going to be the best. He makes a joke about oral sessions, and so John Moxley kills his friend. Well, he's... Well, that, <laughs> that's what happened. Well, he said he makes an oral sessions joke, but then, as Bowens explains, we're just trying to get in her podcast. Oh, that made things even worse. You don't want to upset the man of a thousand holds. There's a pause, and Dean says... Well, you had four more than I did. And there's another pause, and Jericho says, well, I forgot a few. Sting comes out on stage so Darby can sneak attack them from behind, which is the second time in the first 40 minutes of the show we have seen that done. There's a giant brawl going out, going on. Sting puts Scorpio Sky in the Scorpion Deathlock, and Scorpio taps out. Well, now I don't need to see that match anymore. Thanks for saving me the trouble, guys. If they had to fit 15 minutes worth of stuff in two minutes, but it was still only a two-minute match, fine. Fine. You know what would have been better? Taking it off the show entirely. Nah, they want to get over Britt Baker. She's their big female She's already superstar. Over. This did nothing to make me more interested for Sheeta versus Baker. I thought the post-match was a good little violent beating. Curb stomp on the belt. I liked it. If there weren't 700 other post-match violent beatings in the show, sure. Miro versus Dante Martin for the TNT title. Hangman Page versus Joey Tanella. Anthony Agogo versus Cody Rhodes for Wade. And Jade Cargo will have an open challenge. There will be a celebration of the inner circle. Evil Luna and Stu Grayson will face Scorpio Sky and Ethan Page. Darby Allen will face Cesar Bononi. We will honor Hikaru Shida's one-year anniversary. And Will Orange Cassidy has stepped Kenny Omega's offer back out of the match. That's what happened. Varsity Blondes versus the Young Bucks. They did 5,000 moves in this match. They used a lot of cold spray. The Bucks were faking injuries. The cheerleader got involved. There was a sharpshooter and a face buster and Pillman tapped. That review of this match, Vinny, I am convinced you did not watch this show. I did watch the whole thing. There was a lot going on. It was very difficult for me to pick out what mattered and what did not. There wasn't that much going on, dude. It was a simple match. Well, it was like the simplest Young Bucks match I've seen in years. Well, I think this is a... I think this is AEW ran away with it. Do you hear me? Ran away with it this week. Right. I liked a lot of things on NXT, but man, I thought this AEW show was just great. I'm, I'm kind of torn. I... I would think tie all day, but yeah, this got me excited for the pay per view. I'm going to vote for EW. There you go. That was the most half ass vote we've ever had here on this show. I'm a half ass kind of you guy. Buckled to peer pressure is what you did right there.